Welcome back to Talk Shelf Gaming, the most hydrated show on the internet. Hell yeah, bro. Glug, glug. Setting up tables. I'm surprised you didn't chuck a ladder at me for good measure. Turns out the situation called for a partial observer. It's what the image of the brand. Uh huh. Kevin Owens? What does he have that I don't? A shirt. I'm. I can put on a shirt. I can change. <laughs> yeah, but are you gonna? Hell no, I'm my own man. <laughs> Look, the point is, KO has promised to be the Miz's undisputed WWE Universal Champion, and that's what matters. Believing a word KO tells you is your first mistake, and more importantly, I've beaten your poster boy twice now. Beaten him with a chair. Put him through a table. You mentioned a ladder earlier. Well. Let's Ladder see. match. At Clash at the castle. You will put the WWE Universal title on the line against KO in a TLC match. Oh, even easy. Better. Light fucking work for Crandon. And I'll walk out with it too. No, no, no. You will not walk in with the WWE Universal title because it will be hanging high above the ring, right where it belongs. Out of your reach. Don't they hang it, like, afterwards? Uh, no, they, they usually hang it beforehand. I thought it was one of those things where, like, you brought it in, and then they put it on, and then lift it up. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I haven't seen a TLC match in a long time. I mean, same. Bro, we should go see uh, TLC, the pay-per-view that probably still happens, I assume. Yeah, probably. Indeed. That night, I gave you an opportunity. Thank God our dad, William Regal's still here. Hell yeah, we couldn't do without his pep talk. Man, can you believe our two dads, William Regal and Dusty Rhodes? <laughs> what are the fucking odds? I know, they're a match made in heaven, those two. Every WWE Universal Champion will be in the shadow of Roman Reigns in one way or another. At what about Bruno San Martino? Can break the record. Who? Oh. Never heard of him. He was he was the inaugural and like held it for like a million billion years. For like five years, dude. He's like, Never heard of him. Was he Samoan? No, I'm pretty sure he was an Italian American. Never heard of those. What's Italy? <laughs> That's where Olive Garden's from. Oh, I love that place. Change my mind. Bruno San Martino is my favorite champion. Smackdown's locker room, if not with its general manager. Miz can be a real tosser. <laughs> Damn, fucking got him! Now, Crandon, we didn't give you the T-Pass. <laughs> Since you used it on Miz, I'll let it slide this one time, but I will kick your ass next time. We will stab you. <laughs> Who's we? Me and my good friend, Robert E.O. Speedwagon. <laughs> As you know, everyone from, from Britain Ogre knows Street. each other. <laughs> All old men from Great Britain know each other very well. He's a little older than me, at least a couple years. <laughs> Can't wait to defend the undisputed WWE Championship! So good! Man, what is it with WWE pay-per-views now and it's not having Titan Trons? Well, I guess it's up How there. Let's see. Yeah, there it goes. Hell yeah. Walk out to your destiny of being defeated brutally. We're going to bury you under the castle, Kevin Owens. God, what if we could drop the castle on him, though? <laughs> Oh god, yeah, that's what they should do. You know how like <laughs> like anime fighters, they always have, have like special ring out animations where if you go to a certain side of the map and like heavy attack someone, right. you'll send them like flying through a mountain <laughs> and shit. Do that for wrestling games. <laughs> like if you do something somewhere, then you make the Titan Tron like fall on him or some oh, shit. Oh god, that'd be fucking amazing. <laughs> it's like I'm not worried about Kevin Owens actually dying. It's a fucking video game. Right. So let me drop the Titan Tron so on him. So let me kill him. He's not the first person to canonically die on WWE TV. <laughs> God. Rip Owen Hart. <laughs> no, that one's non canon. <laughs> that one did not canonically happen on TV. I was thinking Paul Bear, but yeah. Uh, okay. That's fair. <laughs> 
Uh, man. God, remember they did bury Paul Bear in cement? <laughs> they did. No, Undertaker. That was one no! of the. That was one of the first wrestling things I ever saw. To before I knew literally anything about wrestling, because that was like when it was still relevant and like probably not like right after it happened, but pretty close to. <laughs> And, like, it, it was just on TV somewhere. I don't know what they were, were talking about, but they were just talking about that pay-per-view. And how Undertaker buried yeah. Paul, hit Paul Bearer in cement. Undertaker, no! Undertaker, yes! <laughs> Bad Undertaker, flip that thing back over, so help me! Sorry, I can't hear you through all the cement. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> Oh god, it's in my lungs! <laughs> I'm already dead! Spare me! Yeah. Man, remember when he died because Kane put him in a freezer? Yeah. Good times. Remember when he actually died and canonically his ashes got poured all over the Undertaker? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. So many people thought that was fucking horrible and like it is. Yeah, I get it. Like, it's, it's wrestling. And it's like those were his real ashes. Yeah. Well, that's the thing about wrestling is so many wrestlers or like people associated with wrestling, like Paul Bearer, were so into wrestling that they would have fucking been okay with it. They would have been offended if they didn't do it. Like people who talk about like, oh, when Eddie Guerrero, we know when Eddie Guerrero died, and they use his name for all types of fucking like recognition. And, like, Rey Mysterio, like, went on a fucking Eddie Guerrero campaign. And then Randy Orton was like, Eddie Guerrero's not up there in heaven. He's down there in hell. And people were like, God, Eddie would have been so offended. And it's like, Eddie would have fucking loved that. <laughs> I assume. Everything I know about Eddie Guerrero kind of implies to me, like, he would have been all over that. Well, well and especially because it was... Sp it's not like... Because now, if he said fucking... Trying to give everybody the fucking Eddie Guerrero rub... Like, yeah, sure, I could see him being annoyed by that. But, like, when it was his fucking friend... Right. Especially after Mysterio was nice enough to adopt his son. Right. <laughs> God, keep... Kevin Owens keeps trying to pick up momentum, but I won't let him. Hell yeah. It's been in the ringside. Thank you, Michael Cole, for your masterful bridge. Yeah. Bridge. 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 Ah! Very big ladder. You asshole. I was trying to bridge. No, it is not. Ah! Uh -huh. You wouldn't hit him in the glasses, would you? <laughs> I hit him twice as hard. Ah! Well, luckily, your punches fucking suck, so it barely hurts still. Man. Ah. God, fuck Kevin Owens. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Kevin Owens, but it's because I love to hate Kevin Owens. Oh, yeah. Like, he's so insufferable. Oh, yeah. Which is by design. Hell yeah, on the top! Ah, a little, little to the side, but... Fucking say it up, you bastard! I think it... Oh. Oh, okay. I... I, I, I guess we do the GTS know. on the outside. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right, let's fucking end this. Let's get up there. Uh, he's already almost unstunned. Oh, it's fine. We well, got the ladder set up first try, I'm pretty sure, so. Yeah. I said, be, be ready to, if he starts to climb, just, yeah. Oh, yeah, so I'm waiting for him. Knock his ass off as soon as he gets I'm up I'm waiting there. for him. Oops. Oops. What? His head was right there! Ow! 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 Fuck! Ah! There, there we go. Alright. There we fucking go. You fucking suck. Let's get it. You yeah, ain't that's got right. shit on us. Climb into the corner and just watch, you fucking bastard. He's like, God, I wish I could get up there to stop that, but I'm just so tired. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I fell off a ladder. He's like, what the fuck was that? You just sat in the corner and watched. He's like, dude, I fell off a ladder. Give me a break. He's <laughs> like, you're not made of steel. <laughs> I like that guy. Have you seen his ass? God. You could break a fucking boulder over Crandon. 
Hell yeah, too fucking easy. Man, he's got to stop booking us against KO now, yeah, right? Yeah, Kevin Owens clearly is not the guy. Like, at least book us in a triple threat match or something. <laughs> right. Where there's actually some challenge. Oh, I was about to say, didn't we already have his stuff? But I guess it was different stuff. So. Hell yeah. Alright, let's see here. What kind of new shit we got? How many points? 17 points? 17. We can get one thing or one thing and a crappier thing. Uh, let's do that thing. Yeah. Crane is the ultimate defensive master. Hell I know we yeah. said he doesn't block, but it's not because he can't block. It's just because he doesn't. Hell yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now we're starting to get um, the fucking like, side missions for more shit. I was really wondering when that was going to start. Yeah, same, because I, I really recalled them starting like immediately. Yeah, they really did. Of course, I guess it's just because this is just structured entirely differently. Right. Well, yeah, let's do some fucking filler episodes! Hell yeah! Fuck MVP! God, this is such wrestler bullshit, though. Uh, I know, you didn't shake my fucking hand. Bring on Omos! I kind of expected to wrestle MVP, but whatever. No, MVP doesn't wrestle anymore. He's the fucking manager for the Hurt Business. Ah, uh, yeah, true. If, if that's what they're still... I know last... I know when you had a stable, it was the Hurt Business. I don't know if it's still the Hurt Business. Eh. It's Omos. It's Omos. It's that's the, the only Omos show. Thing. I'd watch the Omos show. I don't know what he'd do on it, but... Be Omos. Be tall. Yeah. <laughs> be tall and Nigerian. You know, his gimmick. Yeah. God, that is a stupid little hood thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that I, would look cool on a smaller person, but Omos is just too big to wear funny clothes. Yeah. Would you say that to his face? Oh, no. I couldn't even reach his face if I wanted to. Oh, sacred short. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Thanks for really <laughs> doubling down on that one. If it makes you feel better, Crane and Short 2, we gave him the WWE height rub, <laughs> and he's 5'9 in the game. That's true. <laughs> uh, That's we actually, I think I might be taller than Crane if he's 5'7, because we measured me the other day, and I'm 5'8. Uh, I think Crane is actually also 5'8. Okay, well, then Crane is probably I, taller than me. I think he's me. slightly at this, underestimated. I mean, it's so close, though. At this point in my life, I just find it easier to assume everybody is both taller and older than me. <laughs> just because I I don't know if it's my genetics or, like, when my parents fucked, but I'm just the youngest person in my friend group and I'm also the shortest yeah. most of the time. Even, like, my friends who, like, were shorter than me for a long time, they've all now gotten taller than me. <laughs> God. It's painful. It's, it's, it's been painful. Like, the... Because, like, my, uh, my friend Malika, I hadn't seen them in, like, two years at one point. And the last time I saw them, they were decidedly shorter than me. Mm -hmm. And uh, then when I saw them after that two-year gap, uh, they were, like, as tall as me. <laughs> and I was like, oh, fuck, man. <laughs> see, that's crazy, too. Cause now I'm just worried that Malika's <laughs> taller than me if I see him again. Yeah. That's crazy, because Malika just sounds short. Yeah, and Malika was short for a very long time <laughs> that I knew them. And then all of a sudden, they just fucking... They were right there! <laughs> and now I haven't seen Malika in a couple more years, and I'm like, fuck, what if next time I see them... I'm gonna go in, and they're gonna be six foot six! I say, they're just gonna be looking down, and they have to crouch down like, Hey, little guy, how you doing? <laughs> God. Honestly, though, it'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs> For some people, maybe. Yeah. For the most important people, me. <laughs> I worry about an audience of one, Sacred. <laughs> Land them combos. Omos gotta have three combos, just like when he goes to McDonald's. <laughs> Look, man, he's gotta fucking, he's gotta do a lot of protein to keep that body up. Oh, yeah. No, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying, like, he eats unhealthy. You gotta get a lot of calories if you want to be a pro wrestler that's, like, a thousand feet tall. Aw, oh, leave me alone, MVP. Just because I'm slaughtering your boy out here. That's right, look at these nipples, MVP. <laughs> you see them things? Look at them with jealousy. Ow! I was turned around! You were, that was absolute bullshit. Oh, now he thinks he can fucking taunt. 
Fight is not me. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Yeah. He can't handle our defenses. Denied with an elbow. He can't handle our offenses either. Kick to the gut. Boom. To the mat. All right, pin him. Oh, superplex. Even better. This is going to be a big superplex. Yeah, it is. We're a super heavyweight. We might break the ring. God, I hope so. I doubt it's in this one, but I know in some of the games. Oh, thanks, MVP. <laughs> oh, oh, we, we did, did break it. the ring. Hell yeah. Can we continue? This usually ends the match. I don't think that was supposed to happen. I'm not sure. Because, like, what if we're playing a cruiserweight? Oh, maybe that wasn't maybe supposed to happen. Maybe happen. they were just going to make it happen regardless. P. <laughs> <laughs> Zero credibility. All he did was whoop Omos's ass and then break the ring with his body. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Let's fucking do it again. God, taking a superplex must be fucking awful. Oh, I know. It's crazy to me that, like, back in the day, that was the go-to big spot. Because it's like, fuck, how did people not just die from taking a <laughs> bunch of those? Well, yeah, because, like, the ropes themselves, they're what, like, probably about five feet? Something like that, high, yeah. High, maybe just a hair less. Right. Um, and then you're over the other guy's fucking head. Right, so however so, tall he is, add that. Probably another six feet at least that you're adding to it. And it's Plus not like he's the just... the length of your own body that you're adding to right. it. Right, well, and the guy suplexing you, it's not like he's just falling back. No, he's gotta, like, put a little bit of oomph into it to get you over, and to make it, like, so you both fall flat on your back rather right. than just crumble down. And yeah, like, I get it. For wrestlers, they practice bumping a lot so that they land on as much surface as possible to try to minimize the impact. But you can only do so much to minimize what is basically like an 11-foot fall. Right. Well, and that's the thing about wrestling that, like, non-wrestling fans, like, don't really get. is like, yes, wrestling is predetermined, and, like, they're not actually, like, hitting each other and shit. For the Sometimes. most part. Yeah, for the most <laughs> part. But, like... There's nothing fake about getting slammed on your back no. from however high up you go. Like, that shit hurts. That's why wrestlers get injured all the fucking time. No, absolutely. Well, it's like, have you ever read uh, Mick Foley's first book? Uh, yes, actually, I have read that one. I've read his second book. Uh, uh, it's good. The first one's amazing. The second one's really good. I think I read the fourth one, which is all right. Uh, but in the first one, he tells the story of the first time he ever wrestled uh, Terry Funk. Right. Who he said had the best looking punches in wrestling. Mm. And, you know, Terry, he calls the spot and, like, throws him in the corner or something and, you know, t to, like, get up and, and throw the, the left hands on him. And he's like, all right, I'm going to get to see, you know, up close and personal, how does he make him look so good? Right. And then Terry... Punched him in the face. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's as how hard it's so he good. Could. And he's like, oh, if you want it to look like a real punch, you punch the other guy in the face <laughs> really hard. <laughs> and yeah. really, honestly, in a way, because uh, for a long, long time, and sort of still, because they mention it every once in a while, but they they don't ever enforce it. Like punches weren't allowed in pro wrestling, right? Um, and part of the reason, I'm sure, is just because they do generally look fucking terrible. Yeah. If you don't follow through. And if you follow through, then you're just punching the other guy in the face. Right. Kind of defeats the purpose of not actually punching your opponent right. in the face. And so it's like, do you want no punches? Do you want punches that fucking rock the guys? Or do you want punches that look like shit? Right. And to me, the obvious answer just does seem like just don't have punches. Yes, sure. But we're in a, we're at a point in wrestling now where like everybody punches. So I don't know. Of course, I can't say anything unless the move completely whiffs. The punches that don't look very good don't phase me at all. Yeah, they look fine. Like I, I've watched multiple Shane McMahon matches. <laughs> his punches are fucking terrible. Right. They don't bother me. Really, even Shane's though. Yeah. Because these are like a particular brand of terrible. 
Yeah, but it's just like the style for him. I guess that's so fair. So it's like, whatever. He tries to go for like the quick jabs. Yeah. God, we look so sexy with that title. I know. I we never fucking Crandon. drop it. God, I wish Crandon were in this room wearing nothing but fucking underwear with our logo on the ass. I know. Crandon, right if I, Crandon, if I commissioned to get this gear made, will you wear it? <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, I really doubt it. I don't know, man. Crandon's a fucking player. Maybe if I fucking get this shit done, he'll fucking do it. Oh, hell yeah. This is just win the match. Too easy. Gotta love it. Boom, big knee. God. I don't want to go into, like, super details because it's A, super old, and B, super not something that the person that it happened to likes. But years ago... Um, when a bunch of stuff from some pro wrestlers got leaked, mm. um, and they were doing stuff with the title belts. Oh, yeah. So many fans were like, I can't believe that they would do stuff like that. How shameful, and blah, 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 whatever. But it's like, man, if I won a pro wrestling title, like, I would fucking do that shit. Oh, every time. Like... I'm not like, made of stone. Yeah, if I bring the fucking WWE Championship home, you better believe that I'm fucking laying it down with it on. <laughs> yeah, like, sorry, babe, but the heavy piece of metal <laughs> stays on during sex. <laughs> Boom! God, that gut punch looks brutal. <laughs> yeah, I saw the other day, uh, and I, I don't have any idea where it was, um, and if it was a leak or an official thing, because I, I just really, for the life of me, can't remember anything other than what it was. Ah, come but on, it, MVP. <laughs> but it's the pick, uh, it's a pick of, of Seth Rollins and Becky, mm -hmm. with Seth with his world championship, Becky with her two championships. And they're just, those are the only thing they're wearing. Right. And the, the thing on it was like, the picture that you knew existed. And it's like, yeah, it had to, though. <laughs> and again, I would be all fucking over Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Especially if I looked like a pro wrestler. Like. Oh, yeah. I say, especially like Seth and Becky, you know, the CrossFitters, you know. Oh, yeah. CrossFit's insane. Yeah, and I don't understand. me doing it. I don't understand how people can do it. But then when I see the bodies of CrossFitters, I'm like, oh, okay. God. Like, I'm not going to do it, but I totally get it. Right. But, you know, because that's, that's the thing that sucks about CrossFit. It's like, there's never a point. Because, like, with normal working out, you can work out hard until you get used to it. And if you reach the point where you want to be at, um, you don't have to keep pushing yourself infinitely. Right. But, like, CrossFit is like, no. Every single time you work out should be even worse than the last. Right. Wait a second. Is that our aunt from the last game? Yes, she is. <laughs> No, he did not. And Omos is not the must-see champion. Look. <laughs> no hate on Omos. The guy is super talented. But, come on. It's crammed in here. Hell yeah! Let's dedicate that ring! It'd be an honor. It'd be an honor. Get us in there. Plus, we can go to the Performance Center and haze all the newbies! Hell yeah! Make Pacing. sure no one who could defeat Pacing. us comes up. God, is this me? Are they fucking handing out skill points like, like candy? candy? Absolutely. Because I, I... It was a huge totally pain wrong. to get him in the last game. Yeah, it, it felt like he had... Of course, that could also tie into the fact that we got started getting side stuff later. Maybe there's just not going to be as much side stuff overall. Oh, Maybe. Isn't the champ. This is a fun hey, auntie, that we're not related to... <laughs> Man, remember when your uh, niece fucking bailed on the WWE after like three weeks? What now? The ring you're naming after me to inspire the recruits. To do what? Get ridiculously swollen heads? I mean, why stop at a ring? Maybe we should. Why is she hazing us? This is not what we came down here to do. This is the opposite of what we wanted. Okay, I think there's been a bit of a mix-up. Yeah. 
Last I checked, one lucky win doesn't make you wrestling. We have been crushing it on SmackDown! Just like we crushed it at SummerSlam. Just like we were gonna crush it on Raw! Yeah! And then the second we got the opportunity, we fucking crushed four guys in one night! As soon as we broke out of our stable and stopped having three on three matches with the New Day, we won all the time! Justine, get your ass in that ring right now! could run out just as fast as Fortune smiled on you. I mean, no offense, but I'm training guys here who could... No, you're not. For your money. Pick your best you're not training anyone. Pick your best five and have them meet me in the ring. It'll make a difference, honey. God, Crandon cannot let this slide. God, why did we even come out here? Where's the newbie hazing? Why were we told that they were going to pick a ring after us? I don't know. That was from the official WWE account. They should have their facts straight. God, Miss fucking hacked it, didn't he? He must have. He he wants us off SmackDown. He sent us back to the Performance Center to get bullied so by Justine. By Justine. He probably got it all on video. And he's gonna play it on SmackDown. This is your best fucking guy. This right here is your champion. I mean, it kind of makes sense in a way, though, right? Like all these guys that she's trading. You notice they all have physiques similar-ish to Crandon? <laughs> That's right. See, they're trying to be us. <laughs> they're trying to be the second coming. Well, we're still here, baby! The blueprint still leads! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This is embarrassing for this guy. I know. I would fucking quit. Those two other guys should have stopped looking out of respect. <laughs> oh, he landed a hit on the champ. He's not completely worthless. We let him do it! <laughs> Is this just me or is that guy in the background? Does he just have, like, Big Show's face? He does. He has, like, Big Show's exact fucking build and <laughs> face. Oh, you stunned? You stunned, little Olaf? You little fucking snowman-ass son of a bitch? I'm bigger than you. I can just fuck around and miss shots <laughs> just because you're so not a threat. You can't even sidewalk slam me correctly. <laughs> Boom, big knee. Man, maybe Crandon is getting a bit of a big head. <laughs> Everyone's so mean to him! Everyone is a fucking jerk, you're right! And you know, because, like, obviously you and I are all in on Team Crandon, oh, but yeah. he broke up the stable, so canonically, in-universe, we're probably pissed. We probably got fucking fired. We probably watch SmackDown religiously every week while tweeting about how we're never watching again unless Crandon fucking comes back begging us to come team with him again. <laughs> Superplex! Destroy him! Come on, break the ring! No. Boom! Now we don't want him getting off that fucking easy. <laughs> That's fair, we're still gonna hit him with the spine buster any second now. Boom! Oh, oh rolling away! Oh, Justine, we ain't done with you! You train them to run out of the ring? Like cowards? We ain't fucking done with you. Get back in that ring. Oh, Tanya, after us. Come on in. Boom. Kaboosh. Oh, oh you are, we ain't done with you. Yeah, but I said We ain't over. done with you. And stun. And no, it wasn't. No, no, it, it was fucking so was it. far away. God, Justine, train some fucking refs to get glasses. Oh, he thinks he can tap us out? You think you can tap us out? God, that would have been so fucking funny, though. Like, what even happens if we lose to some random-ass guy at the fucking performance, performance center? center? Does he just go back to SmackDown with the championship? <laughs> You're like, who the fuck is this guy? And it was like, I'm your uh, champ's worst nightmare. I'm Olaf Ostrovsky. Undisputed WWE champion. Take a nap, Olaf. Take a nap! Uh, was no. that an arm submission? We were definitely choking him out. Yeah, I, I, yeah based on the fact that he was holding his shoulder, probably. Oh, God! Oof! 
That's the first real damage anyone's done to us. Hey, don't step on me. Oh, you think you're fucking cute? What about that? Oh, oh no. Don't worry, I can't lose the Olaf. That's fair. Ow! Got him. Woo! <laughs> We're not chopping, Eric. He is. Oh, I guess he is, huh? <laughs> yeah, no, we're just punching him in the face. He is chopping oh, no! his Uh oh. Uh oh. Shit! Uh oh. Oh. Come on, get the gold! God damn it, I tried, I was going for it! Oh no, he stunned us! It's all over! It's he's got fun. a finisher! And oh, he used the signature, he's got two finishers! Oh, hey, ref, we're under the rope! <laughs> You counted for him for touching it before we even roll him up. But we oh, this cannot stand. This cannot this stand. This is the kind of bullshit you're teaching him here, Justine. Taunting over a downed man. Boom! Stunner. No, we that weren't even covering it yet. Same. This is. We such weren't a even crime. covering him yet, man. This is... God, the whole system is rigged against Crandon! This is a fucking outrage. Just pin him. Just end him. I'm going for it. BAM! That big old splash! With that big old Crandon body that crushes opponents like nobody's business. One, two, and three. It's over. It was over. We played with our food. We did, and then we ate that man. That was the deal, Justine. <laughs> Straight prison rules. <laughs> we didn't get more points. Hey, when did you get in? Looks like we're not done yet. Now, ah. I'll explain why I just flew down to Florida to embarrass myself and convince a whole class of trainees that I have an ego bigger than your bosses. Well, have you met uh, yourself, kid? WWE social media <laughs> account got hacked and reached out to various superstars via DM. You being one of them. Of course, you were the only person stupid enough to actually do it. <laughs> factor authentication stuff. There's an app and a little dongle thing I've got to plug into my computer. I have to change my password now because <laughs> Troy Demand 1996 doesn't have symbols in it. <laughs> uh-huh. And you have a champion who got embarrassed by fake messages. Remember? That's fine. Nobody fucking knows about that. Yeah. Us into this whole mess. Meanwhile, the Miz is just live tweeting this whole fucking thing. No, but... Kind of. I mean, Why? You give money to every Nigerian prince who slides into your. It was the official account. There. And now everybody in the company, including me, has to go through all this hassle just because you. God. Gullible to realize. This is not our fault. Everybody. Just came from the official WWE account. Yeah, and it's a good thing they didn't ask you to pay for your travel by sending in random gift cards. You mean that was fake too? <laughs> You're not the first wrestler to do something remarkably stupid. But when Seth Rollins got himself sprayed in the face with green slime, it really only affected him and a couple people in janitorial. Why is it so hard to be Crandon? No wonder he's depressed. <laughs> God, you heard about the Montreal screw job. How about just the Crandon screw job? Great. Thanks, Troy. You're welcome. And before you leave today, Make sure to pick up that dongle. Oh, I'm gonna pick up a dongle, Troy. <laughs> Just fucking throttle him. <laughs> Funny. Fuck you, that guy. I mean, listen, we all get caught up in pyramid schemes every once in a while. Have you seen On the Shelf game? <laughs> Also, you would absolutely get fired for hacking your company's fucking social media account and, like, frauding your co-workers, right? <laughs> no, see, here's the thing, though. They they reported it up and Vince was like, God damn, that's hilarious. Let's get him a title match. <laughs> that's almost as funny as all the crimes I committed all the time. <laughs> I mean, I won't say anything about my lawyer present. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Stephanie, do you remember to cut that check to the ladies? <laughs> Great, thanks. God. Vince is scum. Vince is the worst. 
And it's, it, it's not funny, haha, obviously, because, like, it's so terrible. Right. But it, it's funny in a way that so many people are like, I can't believe Vince was so terrible. It's like, remember how everybody has known since the 80s that Vince, Vince helped cover up a murder? Right. <laughs> and, like, some of the stuff, whatever. Like, all the steroid trial stuff with him having steroids and distributing steroids, encouraging wrestlers to do steroids. I don't give a fuck about that. Yeah, whatever. Like, they're all adults. They're not competing in, like... The Olympics. Sports. Like, obviously having a better physique helps your chances. But it, it, it doesn't make it easier for you to win. You, you don't get an unfair advantage over the other guy physically by doing steroids. It's like, you know, if he wants them to and they want to, whatever. Right. But, like, covering up murder, all the fucking sex crimes. Yeah, lots God of those. Damn. Man... Luckily, there will be no more Vince sex crimes. We can hope. Next time on Shelf Gaming. <laughs>